When choosing a snowmobile destination, a region of Canada that too often does not get consideration is the Maritime Provinces. Truth be known, the eastern part of our country has some of the best trail riding found anywhere. And we challenge anyone to try and beat the East Coast for its warm and never-ending hospitality. PEI is the smallest of the provinces, but when it comes to throwing a party, don't let their size fool you. Snowmobiler TV and Snowboard Canada magazine were invited to a special celebration ride that was hosted by the Prince Edward Island Snowmobile Association. With invited riders attending from across North America, the Premier of the province was personally on hand to greet everyone and he explained the cause for such a celebration. Well, what we're doing is we're celebrating, uh, really, Charlottetown and Prince Edward Island as the birthplace of Confederation. Uh, in 1864, three years before uh, Canada was officially formed, uh, the first meeting uh, to uh, form the country took place here in, in Prince Edward Island. And uh, originally what was going on was Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island and New Brunswick were having a meeting uh, to decide whether or not they should form themselves, whether or not they should look at uh, perhaps joining the United States. Uh, and at that time, uh, Upper Canada and Lower Canada, Quebec and Ontario came down and really uh, crashed the meeting uh, and uh, started discussions on forming uh, our own country uh, north of uh, the United States border. Uh, and it was that first meeting uh, that led uh, to the creation of uh, the greatest country in the world, and that's Canada. Dale Hickox is president of the PEI Snowmobile Association and was the leading force behind this celebration ride. This was an opportunity for us to showcase snowmobiling on Prince Edward Island, something everybody else likes to do. Well, they can showcase their beaches and we can showcase their golf course and everything else, but nobody ever showcases Prince Edward Island in the wintertime. And I said to myself and, our, and my board, I said, let's do something special. We've got a special year coming up, so let's do something special. So we've done a lot of planning with it. And I think now at the end of the, the three days of celebration riding and everything that we've done, um, I look back and I say, wow, but I'm really sad that it's all over. But uh, I'm really pleased with what we've done. A lot of people have, have commented and said it was a great experience. So if that's what people think, then that's what we were, where we accomplished our goal. Appreciating the size of PEI and the scenery it does possess, this was a special ride for a special celebration indeed. For three days, the roster of invited riders toured the island and took in all the offerings with great enthusiasm. The PEI Snowmobile Association, uh, personally I've been friends with them for a number of years and what they've done in the last four or five years concluding with this celebration ride is, is, uh, is really a large step ahead for them. Uh, they always had trails, they always did very good grooming, but you can just see the quality of the trails, you can see the quality of the signage, you can see the participation from the community uh, led by uh, the leadership of PEI and all the volunteers. They have an awesome product here. Uh, they have something that everybody should plan to come and spend two or three days and visit. Uh, PEI is beautiful in the summer, and PEI is now beautiful in the winter as well. That's fantastic. I mean, it helps remind us of uh, the history of our country, and uh, when you can tie snowmobiling into that, that's a good thing, and uh, we get to have a little riding here and uh, have our national meeting, so it's a great week all around. It's a fantastic idea for PEI, you know, it's, you got to do everything you can do to sell tourism in your province, and PEI is doing a great job by getting this going with the snowmobilers, and obviously it'll carry it through the summer, and, uh, and uh, you know, it's a fantastic thing for the whole province. Dennis Burns, who leads the Canadian Council of Snowmobile Organizations, or CCSO, knows what the impact of a ride like this means to the area. Oh, I think this is fantastic. I don't know who did the snow dance down here, but seeing this amount of snow in PEI just is blowing everybody away. We're fantastic get-together. We're riding. Yesterday we had lunch with about 112 people. Anytime you can get that many people showing their enthusiasm for the sport of snowmobiling is just fantastic to be around. Imagine, every time we stop, we drop $35. There's over 100 sleds. Every time you stop and feed us, the economic impact for a tour like this on the island is very, very impressive. Not only was the PEI Snowmobile Association able to attract sledders from across the country, they also did an amazing job with recruiting some politicians to also take part in the festivities and embrace snowmobiling. Prince Edward Island is actually beautiful year-round, but it's very beautiful in the wintertime for snowmobilers. I mean, we have tremendous organizers here with...
and it's an extremely enjoyable ride up the Confederation Trail and seeing all kinds of, uh, of great uh, hospitality here in the province as well as some great scenery in uh, wintertime. Normally we have lots of snow and uh, good snow conditions and there's, there's a certain beauty in a pastoral view of Prince Edward Island and, and I, think, uh, I think that's tremendous and uh, it's just a typical rural community uh, with some hills and valleys and forest and uh, ocean and uh, you can ride on the ocean if you like here uh, on the coastal areas. Smart guy that he is, the Premier wasn't missing a chance to ride. He played hooky from his budget meetings to take part in the fun on the trails. Uh, awesome uh, would be the single word. Uh, you know, wish I could do it again. A uh, lot of fun. Uh, you know, it is, uh, it's challenging at times, but it is uh, exhilarating and, uh, and fun. I was trying to uh, keep up with everybody, but it was uh, a blast. The views, uh, you know, going through that trail when you're uh, between the trees there, uh, it's just phenomenal. And, you know, the snow here was unbelievable and uh, just running into people from different provinces and they're saying this is uh, uh, fantastic uh, sledding. So, uh, you know, I've never been anywhere else, but uh, to me, it's pretty awesome. Looking at the success of the celebration ride, it's clear that the PEI Snowmobile Association has done a fantastic job with connecting with their government. I know in, in our case here on Prince Edward Island, um, it's a it's a pretty, pretty simple procedure because we are so close to the people there uh, like personally MLAs and stuff I know them personally uh, most of them the premier we were very fortunate to have the premier come out on this big ride that we just finished up and, uh, and, and and it was a great experience to have him here but the close connection we have even our local MP um, we worked hard I talked to her on a first name basis and she's just great for us and it's no bill anything she can help with she does we know that PEI has beaches great golf and of course Anne of Green Gables to name a few attractions but now we say thank you think about winter. Know that they have a great snowmobile product that will impress all trail riders. As for the celebration ride, take a bow PEI. It was a job well done.